find your favorite plugins really fast here, like a boss. So coming to our insert list. Now, right now I have category and manufacturer checked. Okay, so category and manufacturer. That's why my insert list looks the way it does. You may just have the categories. Doesn't really matter. So even though I have category and manufacturer here, we can also refine this list even more to our favorite plugins. So for example, I use a lot of Nectar 2 on voice. I mean, you're hearing it right now. You know, this dialogue was run through Nectar 2. So I can add that to my favorite list really easy here just by holding down control on Windows or command on Mac and then selecting whatever plugin it is. So I'll hold down control. I'll choose this plugin. It doesn't come up. That just adds it to our favorite list. Now we'll head back to our inserts. Bada bing, plugin, and what do you know? Up here now is Isotope Nectar 2, already exposed, not in a folder, exposed and ready to go. So that's all there is to it, man. Control on Windows or Command on Mac. We can, of course, set up multiples. So for example, I use a lot of this Plugin Alliance amp, the angle, which is amazing. Control, click that, come back into our inserts, and guess what? It's right there and ready for me to pull up whenever I want it. Now, I also use a lot of BFD3 from FX Expansion, so I can, of course, Control click, command click on Mac, just choose that. So now next time I start a you know new session, I wanna grab BFD3, I don't have to go through a big long thing, just select it right there, BFD3 stereo, okay? And you notice that our other plugins aren't up here, that's because those plugins were mono, all right? So this list, our favorite list is also intelligent. Very cool. So of course come through here, add whatever you want. Uh, I, I use a lot of uh, the Avid, limiter on pretty much every session, the stereo version on the master, grab that, add that to my list. So the next time I need to use it, grab a stereo track here, it's already exposed and ready for me to quickly pull up. So if we come in here first, let's come here to Avid, and you can see that pro limiter is highlighted in yellow, letting us know it's one of our favorites. Okay, same thing for F expansion here, highlighted in yellow, letting us know it's one of our favorites. And we got isotope here, highlighted, letting us know it's one of our favorites. But if we want to remove a favorite, very easy to do. The easiest way is come up to your favorites and just repeat the process. That's Command on Mac, Control on Windows, so I'll just hold down Control. Let's remove this angle amp. Click that, all there is to it, man. Come back here, check your plugin inserts, and it's gone. So it's really just that easy to add favorites and remove favorites by holding down Control on Windows or Command on Mac, choosing the plugin that you want, and then it will be at the top of the list, right here in your plugin insert list.